We put up a roof rack on our roof, and this is the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Bar roof rack system. And the vehicle is a 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. So these are aero bars, which are going to be nice and low profile and aerodynamic. So it's not going to be whistling whenever you're going down the road. These are 54 inches long. So when I have them perfectly centered up on a roof, you have about three inches from the tower out to the cap. Why do we put roof racks on our vehicles? Well, we want to put stuff up there. And with it centered on our vehicle, we can put our Rhino Rack J-Style kayak carrier right at the end. I like doing this because it makes it a lot easier to put the kayak up there. And you can also shift this this way, almost all the way, and have it overhanging only on one side. And that'll give us six inches. So if you want to go for a very premium kayak carrier, the Thule Holivator is going to work if we have these all the way shifted to the side. So those are two different options for kayak carriers, but still, with bike racks, with cargo baskets, all sorts of stuff we can put up on here, these bars are going to be very, very useful. We can get either the clamp around styles or up top, we actually have a T-track, but we have the little weather strip in them right now. So with these crossbars, we are gonna be able to pretty much put any type of accessory up on our roof. We have two different color options. You can get black or you can get silver. Both are gonna resist against rust and corrosion, which is nice, and both look good, but it all just depends on what you're really wanting your vehicle to look like. All your clamp around accessories are gonna work. So just for a reference, the width is gonna be about three and one eighth of an inch. And then the thickness of these bars is gonna be about a one inch and three sixteenths. So that is pretty much a standard size. All your accessories are gonna fit, so don't be worried about that. Notice how low it is to the roof. I really like that. It's gonna keep it nice and low profile, kind of gives it an OEM look from the roof to the bottom of the bar, it's about two inches, and from the roof to the top of the bar, it's about three and a half. These feet are only gonna be installed right here, but as you can see, the side rails start to get a little scratched up over time. But you don't have to worry about the feet doing that because we do have a little rubber insert, so it's not gonna leave any marks or scratch anything up. This is probably the quickest roof rack install that we offer for your Traverse. So let's run through that process there are a couple of other ones that are similarly quick to put up there, but this one's a lot more low profile. So if you're wanting something quick and easy to put on and off, definitely go with these. But stick around, we're gonna show you how we did it. To start us off, we just need to remove the end caps and we need that special tool to do so right here. So take those off and then we have the top side of our bar and we wanna be on the bottom side of the bar. We want to make sure that the outside of our tower is going to be on the outside of the bar. I'll line this up. I'll slide right in there. So we can just leave them as they are right now. Once we get them on both sides, we can put it up onto our roof. And this where the crossbar spread is going to be determined by the accessory that you're wanting to put on. So just take a look at that accessory, watch a video, and it'll let you know what you need. You just lay this down just like this. And now is a good time to kind of take a step back or take a measuring tape out, make sure it's nice and even. And once it is, we're not gonna put on the end caps just yet. We're gonna take the tool that comes with the kit. And in this bottom slot, you go all the way through. There's a little Allen bolt. We're gonna tighten this up. And what I like to do, as you kind of notice on the side, the shape of these side rails, these are pretty universal. We want to make sure that we're right where we need to be on there while we're tightening it down. Usually when you tighten it down, it kind of finds its own spot, but it's something to kind of keep an eye on while you're tightening this up. And once it's nice and tight, you can kind of see how the top is lining up, what I was talking about before, so is the side. But one thing I did notice too, if you really look at this right here, we actually are touching the top of our roof, which isn't gonna be a huge deal, but just know that it does touch the top. So now once that's done, we're gonna do the same tightening on the other side and then take the end cap. With this end cap, you want this little rounded part to be facing up. And we can lock it into place and look at that, we're done. And that'll do it for a look at the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Bar Roof Rack System on our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse.